We got all the documents. It's all coming out. It's all out in the open. We gotta know who keeps the best secrets. How many secrets do these guys have? How good are they at keeping secrets? Today, it's time to do the secret card draw. Don't tell nobody this is a secret card draw. Don't mention it. Don't spread it around. Okay? Don't let this news travel. We're doing secret card draw. How many secrets does 1010 have? Um, pr probably, <laughs> probably a normal amount. Uh, yeah, I don't think 1010 is, is that, she's probably that, not that forthcoming with her, her associate Rock Lee, because he's kind of a goof, and he doesn't seem like he would have any concept of secrecy, so he would probably just, you know, shout it all over the place, or just not understand or not care at all, um, so I, I feel like 1010 probably keeps to herself and doesn't open up to her teammates, a lot, but at the same time, she doesn't have that many secrets. She's one She's one of the characters, we don't see her family at all, which is kind of interesting. Like, you see Neji's family, you see Kiba's family, Shino, you see Hinata, same as Neji. Um, Rock Lee's family, you don't really see. Uh, although, I guess, Might Guy is kind of like, basically his adoptive parent at this point. You don't see Ten Ten's family, which means you don't really get a sense for her at home life or what her what the potential for her secrets might be, or her potential secret hoarding. So on the on the secret skill chart, I think we're gonna have to put a question mark for Ten Ten. Um, I don't suspect she has too many big secrets in the bag. Um, at the end of the series, she does sort of walk away with those big powerful ninja tools that she sort of steals from the war. So uh, th those could those could potentially count. <clears throat> Tamari, now, this is a secret girl. For sure, secrets. Um, the Sand Village just seems like a very secretive place. Like, a lot of sort of shady things are happening. Um, n not the least of which is Tamari's uh, father continuously trying to... Uh, eliminate his own son Gara, um, just for scientific purposes, just to see how much a, a Jinchuriki of the one tail can take before they flip out and die, or kill everyone else, rather. Um, so yeah, Tamari, Tamari's family is pretty broken, I would say. I expect she has lots of secrets, and her father does too. Um, I don't know how close she is with her brother Kankuro. I guess they seem at least like nice to each other. They don't seem like they fight a lot in the comic or in the show. Um, so maybe he's someone she can she can trust with, with some secrets. But overall, having having a, a complete lack of a stable family structure, I think that encourages secret hoarding um, big time. So kind of the opposite of Tenten. We know Tamari's family is hugely dysfunctional. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Hanabi kind of similar thing, like, if you have really strict parents, like in the Hyuga clan, and, you know, this younger girl is kind of, like, usurping Hinata as the head of the family, um, you're gonna want to keep some things to yourself. You probably don't relate to your parents that well, um, or they have, like, very high expectations of, of how to be, so I, I would imagine, we don't really know who her friends are, or if she would, like, trust other people with her secrets, but I would imagine, um, in such a strict household, you probably, you probably keep your secrets to yourself and you don't share that much with your parents who have, like, crazy high expectations of you. Uh, I'm just trying to get a bit of a shine on this card. This is a, this is a wave three, so it should have the, uh, it should have the rare shiny lines. It's not just a, it's not just a card with no shininess, is it? It looks shockingly like a card with no shininess, but it could just be the lighting. Okay. Troubling. It's late at night. It's late at night. All right. Uh, oh, we just got a new UR. That's too bad. We just did the UR card carnival. Um, but what can I say? This is a secret draw. Um, shit, what's this guy called? Isn't he from the... Isn't he from the, the, the Cayuga clan, which ends up being the same name 
as the true god of the shinobi world. I think he's from the Kayuga clan. Kayuga. K Kaguya. Kaguya. Um, yeah. Why does he share the same last name as the, the god of the whole ninja world, the goddess of ninjutsu? I don't know. It's a really good question. It's like he's... I think this was... I mean, I, I think that goddess was um, a pretty big retcon thrown in at the end. Um, and I guess this guy's bloodline was kind of retcon to be related to her. Shit, what, what is this guy's name? Uh, let me just search my memory banks. Kimimaro. That's right, Kimimaro. Um... He was the he was kind of the the ace in the hole for Orochimaru. It was like the sound for all recognized that like this guy was Orochimaru's true sort of ace. He was the Sasuke before Sasuke, but he was uh, suffering. He had maybe some disease or you know kind of similar to Itachi. He was degenerative um, with his uh, health. And I guess Orochimaru was going to try to take over this guy's body, and he seemed okay with it. He was just sort of nice to everyone. Like, he hung out with Jugo, and uh, they seemed to get along really well. But we never got to see him very much because, what, Gara takes him out? Or Gara at least stalls his fight with Rock Lee for long enough for someone else to come. I'm pretty sure he does die. And his power is Bones. So with all that in mind, how much of a secret guy is this guy? Uh, I think definitely people in Orochimaru's retinue are like major avenues of secrets. His whole organization is just a big secret team. So like everybody in there, Karin, Jugo, <clears throat> all the other guys, Kimimaro as well, they are definitely like like high tier, like S tier secret guys. Um, major secrets, lots of secrets, good at keeping secrets. Um, I feel like you have to sort of defend yourself a little bit in Orochimaru's sort of laboratory. Like, you can't just be opening up to everybody. Uh, it seems like death is a, a very real possibility for the experiments there. And, uh, I guess you, you gotta, you gotta know who your friends are, for sure. So, like, Kimimaro and, and Jugo, probably. Kimimaro is probably the recipient of secrets from Jugo. But that's a nice UR. It's got a nice blue background. We don't have a blue background UR card. Uh, very nice. <clears throat> a bone man. The Pumpkin King. And finally, we finish off with Hinata, who, like Hanabi, probably keeps to herself and does not share a lot with her... Um, with her father, who seems to have very high expectations of Hinata that are somewhat unmet, um, in his eyes at least. Um, and I, I mean, I guess she keeps it a secret that she likes Naruto. I don't think she tells anybody that. You know, it, is, it may not be that um, subtle. I think some other characters, particularly girls like Sakura, kind of pick up on it. But uh, I think she keeps it to herself until she declares her love during um, an invasion of her home by Pain, the ultimate sort of bad guy, who promptly kills her. Uh, but she's okay. She gets better. Okay, this has been a late night secret card draw. The government will deny involvement. The dad is all here. Don't tell nobody.